Hello everyone, it's Koneko here, and today's video is brought to you by Peachy Shop and Annie Boo. I should probably redo that, shouldn't I? So I haven't done a feature Friday in a while and I got some free items so I thought I would do a feature Friday video for them. Yay. Now um, it's been a while so a little reminder of what feature Friday is. Whenever I get free products um, from shops or win items in a giveaway and I want to kind of showcase them in a video but maybe they don't fit in another video I'm not quite sure where to put them or they're they're not like a paid product like they didn't pay me to make a video specifically so I'll put a couple things together instead of just one item um, anyways so I've gotten tons of items from peachyshop.com before and I have a code Koneko doll for 10% off um, and she sent me another lovely item and then I recently got in contact with Annie Boo who offered to send me a wig of my choice and so I chose a wig and they it just they both got in the mail around the same time so I thought it was perfect they're both pinkish um, and very cute so yeah let's get on to the video so I'm gonna start with the Annie Boo wig because I'm going to end up trying it on. Very interesting to see the difference, like compare putting on wigs with my really long hair that I used to have and now my short hair. So they sent in this cute bag that has their logo on it. Inside there were two little like clothes tag type things. So if you're getting a clothing item, there's some washing instructions on the back and then this little one here with their logo and their uh, website and stuff is just super cute as well. And then inside that bag was another bag that had the wig and like a, a longer bag that had the twin tails because this is a pink wig that has a short base and twin tail two clips. But I do want to mention because I did like take this out to make sure everything was in order before I did this video to see if I needed to contact them about anything. Um, so the wig base was in this bag. It had the typical um, cardboard around it and then had a netting around the wig and inside the wig was like it's like a bundle of tissue paper. That's typically how they package wigs, so I want you to know that it was packaged very nice and correctly. And then the clips were actually clipped together, which is how I also store them, um, which is a very good way to transport clips, is they were clipped together and then they were in netting and in a separate bag on their own. And so that's why they had the two bags inside the other bag, which I just love bags and like boxes and stuff. So I was like, another bag, because Sometimes wigs and costume pieces come, come in like sh bags. Um, they just like, sometimes you just go to open them, like untape them or whatever, and they just rip down the side and you're like, oh, this doesn't have a bag anymore, but now I have a backup bag or like an extra bag. Anyways, we care about the wig. Um, it did not come with a wig cap. I'm just so used to wigs coming with wig caps. Um, and I didn't really notice that at first because of like the bags and just how cute and soft this was But it didn't come with a wig cap But I have tons of them so So here's the base and here are the twin tails that are clipped together. It looks like a little bow Okay Let's talk about the base first. So you have this sort of gradient color of pink starting with light pink at the top, short bangs, and then to a darker pink. And it's cut and styled very simple, cute, and nice. Um, when you do kind of like wiggle it a bit, you can see the light through there. So it is a tad thin, um, which usually is such a big issue for me with all my hair. 
but my hair is shorter now and it is flattened very well. So we'll see. The like texture and feel and look of it in general is super cute and nice. I just wish it was a little bit thicker, but for most wigs, I wish they were a little bit thicker. The prices on these, I'll try to find the price of this one. You kind of get your money's worth and like it did a good job of like m making it kind of look like scalp up here. When you pay more for wigs, they're likely to be thicker because there's more like hair that were like made onto it, if that makes sense. On to the cute little pigtails. So they have a similar gradient, pretty much the exact same gradient. The top here is meant to look like, you know what I mean? Like a little bow, like the style, like a little bun thing. I don't know why I always, like whenever I have clips, I like clip them into my hair as if it's gonna look good or cool. <sighs> so yeah, so these um, tiny little clips, awesome. Like there's nothing wrong with these. Uh, these don't have to be super thin or super thick. I mean, you wouldn't want to have like a super like small pony like that. These are good, it's hard to go wrong with the like clip on ones unless they're like coming off the clip. I need to find a hairnet. Two hours later. <clears throat> I totally found one. <laughs> it's very stretched from my long curly crazy hair. I do believe that I have an old YouTube video or two talking about wigs where I talk about kind of like a little bit about like styling wigs and putting on wigs and stuff when I'm sh showing some wigs but basically you want this band down here and then the top bit is just kind of like just pull it up but oh my gosh there's like no hair up here <laughs> and I usually keep this a bit down in case it pulls back with the wig then I find these two pieces here and the front of the wig obviously is gonna go towards the front and I usually take them from the back and just lean it on my forehead first get it like a good grip on the forehead and then pull the back over and tuck in the hair and usually I have so much more hair that this is very difficult to shove it all in there but holy crap <laughs> And then I like wiggle this forward, adjust the back. <laughs> all right, so tuck that all up snug and <laughs> there's little pulley things if you need to tighten it. But I find most wigs like I don't need to tighten it. The wig's usually pretty tight. Even with my short hair, the wig's pretty tight on my head. It's fitting so nicely. Super cute bangs. I might leave them like this. I might cut them across. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'm not sure. But even just like the base, like it's super cute. So, I mean, you'll, you'll be able to tell better than I can how the back is looking. If it's looking too thin or too thick. Not too thick. And now the cute little pigtails. I love twin tails. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so bouncy and I know some people are gonna be like, mm hmm I kind of feel like a mix between like Sailor Moon and I know Chibi Moon has pink hair, but I feel more like, I don't know, or like a grown up Chibi Moon maybe. Cause I kind of feel like a pink Sailor Moon type vibe going on. Oh my gosh, I don't know, but I love it. It's so cute. And uh, being the amazing YouTuber and like influencer that I am, I'm not positive if they gave me a discount code or not. I should probably check my DMs to see if it's in there. I'm just so popular. I have so many DMs. Yes, so when shopping at any Boo store, you can use code KONEKODOLL for 10% off. Often when I make discount codes with companies, I tend to make it my username. So it's a mat usually a matter of where do they contact me? Is it on Koneko Doll or Koneko Cosplays? But now on to the peachy shop item. So 
<laughs> that was weird. The item I got from Peachy Shop is this super cute pink flowery spiky uh, garter belt for around your leg. So let's just admire how awesome this is for a moment, shall we? So it's got a heart in the center here. It's got like a pink pleathery material with like a, I think, I think this is like a pleathery type material, which is like kind of like a deeper hot pink, which like, oh my gosh, like I might have to do a photo shoot with these two together. Um, it's got these cute pink fake flowers all over it and they've got like some green ribbon to make it look like petals or like leaves <laughs> to make it look like leaves and all these spiky so it's like cute but badass super awesome they cross down here and this is the part of the garter that can hook to your thigh high socks and at the, if you need to tighten or loosen it now I'm gonna put this onto my thigh I don't have a thigh high sock on right now so yeah I'm actually gonna step on a chair all right so there she is in all her dangly glory this is a cute little diva skirt too that I got but I'm gonna share that in another video so Let's focus on this. This isn't a bad outfit altogether. Like, it kind of like, I don't know. I mean, the whites are a bit different and the pinks are a bit different, but you know what? Cause I don't. <laughs> So that was all that I had for today's video. Let me know your thoughts on this wig or if you've got any items from either of these shops. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the garter belt. Very cute. Very cute. All very cute. I'm so happy. <laughs> And spring is pretty much upon us. It's raining a lot here in Canada, but I still, I gotta get up on my photo shoots for flowery cuteness, get some fake flowers up in here, lots of cute pink and lilac-y colors to come. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope to see you in the next one, bye!